What's going on, good people? I'm gonna make this quick. This is the Riga Brio Integrated Amplifier. This is a 50 watt per channel analog affair with four RCA inputs and one phono input that honestly is a pretty amazing amplifier for the 12 pounds that it is. I've used this for music. I've used this for movies and for music combined with my Blue Sound node and its subwoofer output. I have been really happy with this amplifier with eight ohm speakers. Now, if I were to use six ohm or four ohm speakers, I can't make that recommendation. For eight ohm speakers, it doesn't seem like this thing has to work hard at all. With these CSS Crichton 1TDX bookshelf speakers, the sound is pure. It is extremely textured in a good way. In not only the bass, but also the mid-range and the treble, it sounds better than the Rotel A11 Tribute. It is more powerful than the Tribute. I would say that is more powerful than the Rotel A12 Mark II as well. And I also think it's more textured. I think the music, the sound is better out of this amplifier than those. Now does it beat the sound that I hear out of my SUG 700 by Techniques? No, but that's also a $2,500 amplifier. I wouldn't expect this to beat that. But for $1,100 for music, this is great. You're gonna love it. Now, if you need a subwoofer, you're gonna have to add something like the Blue Sound node, um, which is something I obviously chose to do. But you're gonna like the music that you hear. Now for movies, I was a little nervous. I'm always a little nervous when I get away from an AVR to listen to movies and I use a two channel amp. I watched the Batman movie, uh, The Dark Knight, and I could understand everything that every single person said in that entire movie. The clarity was fantastic. The movie punched when it was supposed to punch. All of the sound was there. And obviously with the subwoofer, it sounds even better. Things that you should be worried about. Well, let's talk about what people have said they're worried about. People say that this thing buzzes. I have not heard this amplifier make any noise whatsoever out of the unit itself. Now, right now it's at the 12 o'clock range. Up to the two o'clock range, there is no tweeter hiss. If I turn the tweeter all the way up, and this would be an absurd amount of noise coming out of these speakers if I were to put music on, there is hiss. But, I usually listen at 12 o'clock or lower and the speakers are silent. Now with higher sensitive, higher sensitivity speakers, like you might find with Klipsch, yeah, there's going to be some tweeter hiss. Uh, that's pretty common with high sensitivity speakers. So just be aware of that if this is something that you're looking to partner with your high sensitivity speakers. But for my setup, not only is the form factor great, not only does it play my speakers at levels that I'm extremely happy with. Um, I like the way it looks. Now, this brand new is $1,100, but here's the thing. And I think it's because people think this amplifier is ugly. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's because people think it's ugly. Uh, there are used units of this available. Strangely, I was able to buy this from the music room um, for $460, shipping and everything included. Uh, and it, it kind of blew my mind. It makes me think that they made a mistake. But if you were to spend, get this for under $1,000, this is going to beat anything from music and two-channel listening that you're going to find. Now, another question you might have, how does this compare to the Riga EO that I have. I honestly wasn't expecting there to be a big difference. 
I was told that it has the same phono input. I was told that the innards of this are similar, and they probably are. But while I love the EO, it is a remarkable 30 watt per channel amplifier. This is more textured. The vibrato that you find on bass is more detailed and nuanced. Um, it images better, it being the Brio images better with my speakers than the EO. But other than that, it's not a huge, oh, well, I guess, and there's more inputs, but you knew that without me even saying it. But honestly, would I get the EO or the Brio? I'd get the Brio. I don't think soundstage is a big deal. Honestly, it's a cool little funky tool that people say, but it's, it's an imperfect science in my book. But for power and for texture, I do think that the 50 watts per channel does help my speakers sound better. It does help with the dynamics that come out of my system. But I also know that I've bought the EO twice and I love it and I'm not planning on selling this. I'm gonna actually use it to put a two channel system up in my bedroom, which is probably the more likely use for anybody. But if I could only have one, I'm choosing the Brio. I like the way it looks more. I think it feels more solid. I think that there are higher components put on the outside. I think the inside components are just as high quality on both. Um, and I just like having more power. Now, the only thing that tempts me after having this Brio in my house, the only thing that tempts me is the new Techniques SUG700 Mark II. Because I know that that amplifier has extreme clarity. I know that that amplifier has a lot more going on visually. And I also know that that amplifier is dead silent, even if I turn the volume knob up all the way. But shoot, for an additional, what is that, $1,500? I'd expect the techniques to be a lot better. But for most people, this amplifier, this Brio, you're gonna be happy with it. You might not love the looks, but you're gonna be happy with the sound. I suggest partnering it with the Blue Sound node, not just for digital purposes, honestly, I could take or leave digital, but I do like having a 2.1 system and having a subwoofer output. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. And isn't that the point? Okay. Well, hey, I appreciate you all watching. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions or comments, even about my poor, terrible, horrible speaker placement, please ask them in the comments below, and I will get to every comment that I can. Thank you for your time, and I hope you are having a great day. Bye.